Hey guys, this is Daniel with Joe's Gaming and Electronics here with a repair video. Today, I'll be showing you how to replace the control talk board on a BTEX. All parts and tools that will be used in this video are available on our website linked below. So let's get started. First, we want to take off the volume up and volume down button, that cover piece. We're going to do that with tweezers or another pry tool if you have one available. First, we want to press down all Two, all three or two buttons. Mostly you want to press down the volume up and volume down buttons. And then on the volume up side, you want to slowly pry underneath and pop it off slowly. Ooh, this is a bit of a dirtier unit that we have here to repair, but we'll do. Next, you want to pull off the pause play button, put that aside. Now we want to get rid of this internal control talk cover. Next, we're going to grab the heat gun, around 200 degrees Celsius, it's a lower heat, we don't want to melt the plastics, just to heat up the glue a bit, so just go lightly around on both ends. Next, grab your tweezers, you go from the top point by the volume up button, just slowly pull up. Get that cover off. Now we want to get rid of as much glue as we can around. Right. After we got most of that glue out, we want to heat up these two points right here, the plastics. That's what's holding the board down to the bottom cover. We want to heat those up so they become soft and mendable so we can pull that board out. Again, just focusing on those two points primarily. We want to heat them up quick enough, but not the rest of the back cover. We don't want to melt it. As soon as you're done heating it up, we want to grab our tweezers quickly and get under one side of the board by the points slowly propping it up so we get it to pop out like that there we go now there are three solder points on the bottom we want to be careful not to damage the back cover when we do this so here I have a handy helping hand We want to put this helping hand between that microphone button on this, I mean the microphone uh, unit that's on the back side and between these two buttons here, just so we don't press anything down by accident or damage anything. Just like that. And now I'm gonna rotate it a bit. Get a good angle on these buttons, I mean on the solder points. There might be some glue there, so we might have to heat gun it a little bit, soften up that glue and then pry it off. Just do it ever so quickly and lightly. That's good enough. Now I'm gonna grab some flux, just to make it nice and tidy there. On those points. Now we have our solder iron. We have it set to 750 degrees for this kind of job. Now we have removed that bad control talk board. Can set it aside. Now, we have our good board here. Three points on the bottom. Now, we gotta know which wires we have to solder onto which points. So, as you can see, there's a little fitment area for a microphone housing, the little spot on the top here. So when we flip it over, we wanna make sure that these all line up. So. 
we're gonna have the red in the middle, the little blue wire, it's closer to my thumbs, and there's a little, I think it's a black wire, it's closer to my fingers on this side. We're gonna solder it in that pattern. There we go. Got the three wires soldered on the back of that control talk board. Now we can slowly put this control talk back through those two plastic points. Nice. Now we wanna put our B7000 glue all the way around. We want to put it on this long side here, this long side around the both edges and the part that are by the board. Now we have that cover again. Make sure to put the, the side with the square to the volume up button, which is goes to the end of the speaker. There we go. Now, uh, once we have placed that internal cover on, on top of the control talk board, we wanna grab a rubber band, fold the wire on the back like this. Spin it around like so couple times, not too tight. Just so it could hold down that plastic cover and let it glue for an hour about or so. Once that glue has cured, once it's cured, we can put on our play button and our volume up and volume down button back onto that control top board. If you guys have any questions regarding this repair, comment in the comment section below and we will do our best to reply to your comments. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.